here today welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video so I thought I'd start off with a video showing you guys what my end product is going to look like so this is the completed look at the end of this video if you guys were interested to see the after before you get to the before but anyways let's get into the video uh, now so today I thought I would do a get ready with me, have a bit of a chit chat with you guys and use some affordable makeup that you can get from like Priceline, Chemist Warehouse or if you're overseas from like a drugstore. Makeup that's affordable and usually you can find it on sale and you can do a whole full face of makeup using really inexpensive products. So I thought that's something nice to show you guys because I know, you know we all can't go to Sephora and buy the most expensive things like our pockets aren't all that deep so I thought why not I'm going to do more of a I try to do like an everyday look but still you know have like full makeup if that makes sense you'll see at the end <laughs> okay let's just get this started because I know these ones are always so long okay I'm going to be using the Australis the peach princess color correcting um, primer oh it's gone a little bit watery when that happens I just shake it up so I have been using this one lately and I am finding, I don't mind it, like it's not too bad. The thing is when I film like my first impressions, I do tend to like like products and then sometimes I don't love them but you know, I, I kind of don't really want to get rid of them but I do find when I find something else that I like, I just move away from things that I don't really like. But I am quite enjoying it so I have been using this lately. My next step now is always to spray my setting spray. So I'm just using the Flower Beauty one, that one. And I always just spray... I better close my mouth before it goes in. Spray the setting spray after the primer. And I feel like that kind of is keeping my makeup a little bit better and a little bit more matte, which is great. Next time I'm going to use my foundation, it is the True Match L'Oreal one. I'm in the colour 4D4W, a golden natural. That's what I like to think I am. As you can see, I'm not, but I have a little bit of a tan here happening. I do much prefer looking a little bit more golden than not. I just feel like it gives me a little bit of a glow, so that's what I prefer. So I have on one layer. I'm going to do another because I just don't feel like that covers enough. So I'm going to go in with the second layer here. Oh, it's always so hard to film here. There's still construction happening around and it's just so noisy. And it's like there's always someone buzzing or doing something. And luckily it's winter so, you know, I can keep all the windows closed and doors. But it's still super noisy because it's so close. And, you know, being winter, we don't have much daylight happening. So I do, if I want to film, because I like to film with natural light, film in the day so I'm, I kind of risk it and you might hear some noise you might not you might just hear like a faint buzzing or something in the back and if you do that's what it is really kind of gets on my nerves but you know you gotta live so how has everybody been spending their time uh is it more relaxed where you're from i do know now victoria you know has gone into uh, like a second lockdown type situation which if you're from there I feel for you I do hope it doesn't happen in New South Wales because I don't know not that like I'm a huge going out person it's just that even just I didn't like when lockdown happened and we were at the point where we couldn't even visit family like that was that I didn't like um, or even you know it's funny because going for walks was just huge. There were so many people out going for walks. And you know, although we were meant to be avoiding people, we were just seeing so many people because there was nothing else for them to do. Like a lot of games and stuff were cancelled. But now that like soccer season is back, we're doing that on the weekends. Chibi's getting out more. Well, Chibi gets out like twice a day, every day anyway. <laughs> but, you know, he's loving his good old... Because when he goes to soccer, he gets walked by everyone there and he gets patted and played with and he loves it. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the concealer. I'm using the True Match one because it's pretty much the same colour as the foundation. I like to get... Sometimes I have a brightening one, like I use like my Fenty Beauty for brightening, but otherwise I usually just use this one. This is in the shade... This always takes me forever to do. 3DW, golden beige, same. So I always just put a little bit there. And then lately I've been also putting it just in some darker areas, just around my mouth there and just here. 
which I find to be a little bit darker and I'll just leave that and let it sit there for a little bit so it dries down a little bit and then I'll pat that out but I'm happy to do the eye um, I found that if you let it set a touch it gets a little bit creamier and um, when you pat it out it's a little bit thicker and now I'm ready to pat down the other area and I'll just pat that down and then just to like give it a little bit of a matte look I always go in with a loose powder or any kind of powder I'm going to use my Maybelline shine free loose powder I've had this for a while now it's nearly pretty much done and I've used pretty much all of it which is great so I just use a fluffy brush so have you guys been watching any shows lately I think I feel like I've watched so many <laughs> um, I'm now watching Siesta Key on a Stan um, it's, it's kind of like a what can I say like a Jersey Shore meets Love Island type of a thing because they're constantly in their swimwear so it's a bunch of good looking guys and girls you know with good bodies that are like in their bikinis all day long and um it's just it's all about drama it's a reality kind of show and it's really very drama very like so obvious that people will cheat on other people and it's just one of those like train wrecks that is interesting to watch I was watching um Kelly Strack I'm probably sure most of you guys follow her um she does beauty and makeup and she was mentioning i think it was in her vlog that she watches it and i thought what is this show and then i thought oh let me try it because I, I was finished in my shows and um yeah I've, I've been watching it so i'm like on season two now and it's like it's interesting but but i'm one of these people who like i can't wait to the end so i've like stalked their instagram pages to see like who's with who and what's happening now like i want to be up to date bronzer i'm just using my l'oreal bronze please i love this this is like my favorite bronzer in the color La Terra. So yeah, apart from that show, I've been watching a snow piece. That that's on like weekly. Um, I don't mind that. It's it's something different. Like it's. I was trying to explain it to my sister, and it just I failed it because all I said was like it's based on a train. Like the world pretty much kind of ended, and it's based on a train, and this train just keeps going. It has to keep running so they can stay alive because it's so cold outside like it's all snow and if you go outside you die from the cold and um i don't think that does it justice explain but i quite like it i don't know it's it, it's interesting i also started watching unsolved mysteries um i think i got about three or four episodes in and then it got a little boring for me we we're talking about that with my sister too where i've got a hair in my eye um, where she was saying she didn't like the fact that they're unsolved so kind of you don't know what happened and then it ends there and then you're done but I guess that's the whole point like it's to think about your mind to go wandering to where you think what might have happened with someone um, I really missed I used to watch Unsolved Mysteries when I was young and they had this other guy that used to be the like host and I loved his voice and it just made everything like spookier so to speak but he's not on at this time and it's not that exciting so they really I mean I should look into whether he's still around or not but yeah like he was really good so for my brows I'm going to use the NYX Fill and Fluff I, I really enjoyed this one I used it last time because it's got that like end bit that you like brush it I thought that was cute I still am so bad at doing eyebrows I don't know I'm just have never mastered it and um, I do know that I probably do them darker than what they should be because of my hair color but I feel like they're dark so I just I, I use like a light brown color but sometimes they just look dark it's life this color is taupe and I actually think it works really well for me I'm actually thinking that I think I did a good job today they they're not too dark they're, they're natural looking I think so and I just sorry I just looking at myself in the viewfinder and I look really dead <laughs> <laughs> no I'm not but I love that golden tan look and look if you're covered all the way no one knows no one knows but there's been no sun this week it's been like raining and cloudy and horrible all week so I can't sit outside as I normally do like with Chip and he plays in the front yard and I just like tan a little bit have not gotten some vitamin D now come to think of it that's why my mood's been a little bit low this week um I have found that and it must be cause of no sun so for eyes I'm going to mix the mesmerize and the flower beauty palettes just because 
Um, th this one doesn't have enough browns for me, so I'm thinking I'll, I'll incorporate the two. So you don't have to when you do yours, you know, just find a palette that works for you. If you want something more neutral, probably this one. I know I tend to like, like glitters and stuff as well, just to give more pop to the eye. Yeah, as I was saying, because there's been no sun, that my mood is a, is a little bit lower than it normally is. And I'm sure that happens to a lot of us. Um, yeah, and kind of sometimes I feel like it demotivates you to do a lot of things that you want to do or should do and you just don't have that energy. I do find in summer and on sunnier days I'm willing to do more and just stuff like that. So I think it really does affect. I do, it makes me wonder about people who live in countries you know really far in the north that don't have much daylight in winter and it snows and it's cold and terrible like wow i think how do they get through winter without being miserable i don't, I don't know like i really wouldn't want to live in a place like that i mean i'm sure they're beautiful definitely but i feel like i do feel like weather plays a big part on how you feel let me know if you agree like comment down below let me know so I've used the Flower Beauty palette for the base and now I think I'll just use the Australis one for everything else because I want to put a little bit of colour to my eye. Also, I, I stumbled across a video the other day, like a maybe one from, I don't even know when, a year ago or so, I can't even remember, but um, it was when I had done my lip injections and <laughs> it was just funny, I was looking at my lips now, when you do lip injections they kind of turn in a touch just a touch and your mouth here see how mine's like kind of straight um this bit kind of turns up and it was like sorry i just keep looking at the viewfinder just to see what it looked like yeah and um it just looks so funny and i always found that um because i kind of have dimples here and then that was turned up i just looked really weird when i like tried to like a close smile like like that it was just so funny and I thought wow um, but I did enjoy having them like because I have like no lip and it was nice just to have something like now I just overline them all the time to make them look fuller when I don't really have any and probably down the track I'll probably get a little bit more just to have like more to be able to put like a good amount of lipstick and feel better about myself but yeah it was interesting like at the time when you just think you look so great but you're like mm, I don't know once it settles it's okay <laughs> but yeah I always like to put a pop of brightness in the corner of my eye. I always feel like that draws people to the eyes. I've kept it really simple. I've just done the um, base layer and then just a, like a shiny coat on top. And I may or may not put glitter. I might not. I might leave it today. But we'll see how we're feeling. I'm meant to be doing some other filming today. So I might not put glitter because sometimes I'm not sure what I'm going to film it and sometimes my eye looks are so bright that they don't go with what i'm filming so i might leave it a bit more natural today and we'll see i couldn't help myself i had to put a little bit of deepness in the out corner just to like smoke it out a little bit so has anybody seen how there's um that new ice cream the bubble bill and the rainbow paddle pop oh, i love a rainbow paddle pop like it's probably my favorite paddle pop but I used to love Bubble Bill when I was a kid. Just I still remember like my brother and I, we would like look for coins in the couch and we would find coins. Back then they were like 50 cents or something. And we'd you know look for coins that had fallen out of my dad's pocket and we'd go to the corner shop and we would buy ourselves a Bubble Bill each because it came with like an ice cream. And then when the ice cream was done, you could have the chewing gum and which was like double, you know, so you kind of got chewing gum and ice cream, two treats for one, which was like such, such an excitement for us. And it's always going to bring, I have not had one since, I don't even know when the last time I had one of those, but is that memory of like when we were little, they were the best thing in life. I've just gone back to the Flower Beauty one and I'm just going to pop some shadow just under my lower lid, just to kind of join the top and bottom together. And this is the same, that's the um, crease colour. So just kind of want to make that into one. Bring a little bit of a shimmery kind of shade just in the centre of the eye there. Just to like open it up a little bit. We're actually done. I'm not going to use glitter. I'm not. <laughs> but what I am going to use is, um, I bought this like white eyeliner ages ago. This is from Rimmel. And it's like, it opens your eyes up a little bit. So I'm just going to use this just in there. Just to like, open my eyes up and not make them smaller. 
Okay, I'm going to use eyeliner. I'm going to use this Maybelline Hyper Easy one. So, eyeliner is on. I did that off because I really need to concentrate. So, mascara, I'm going to use the Bambi Lash. I really like this one. This one's really nice. Um, so, I was just thinking to myself, do you guys have any other YouTubers that you got? Um, you definitely have other YouTubers, but other YouTubers that you watch that you recommend? I'm on the hunt for some new ones just to like get me inspired and get me into watching again some of these like beauty because I watch a, I really prefer lifestyle that's kind of where I'm at and what I want to do with my channel like I like to do I like to do a little bit of everything uh, so that's where I like to watch um, I, I guess because just watching one thing kind of bores me sometimes but is there someone that you guys watch that you love? Uh, comment down below. They're, like, yeah, is there somebody that you guys watch and love that you recommend? Because um, I do t I do watch a lot of... Like, I used to watch the popular people more. Is that really a thing? Because, yeah, some of those, like, bigger beauty influence YouTubers, whatever they are, they're just, like, I don't know, not so great and then other people that i watched before like because i was new to youtube so therefore i would just watch what they gave me my suggestions and some of them i really liked and then i find a lot of the popular people don't really post videos that often and i feel like i hope that never becomes me like if this is what you love to do then you should do it and you should not just do it for the money and only post you know once in a month or whatever just because like you make a lot of money from that or other things i don't know like i feel like if you're here to entertain others and to like have a community you should always be on here and like maybe you can't do five videos a week or whatever like i personally can't do them now um i don't see why you should not post as often i don't know but anyways comment down below let me guys know somebody that you guys love that i should start watching if i aren't if i'm not already but yeah like that way i can see who else is out there Okay, I'm going to pop on some lashes. I'm just going to use my Kiss ones. I love them. They're super affordable and I love the wispiness of them. I'm going to put them off camera because they take me a little bit of time with the drying time and stuff. And then we will come back. Okay, guys, the lashes are on. I'm going to now put some blush. I'm just using my Maybelline Fit Me. Look, this one, like, I've hit pan. I, that's how often I use it and I really enjoy it. So I was watching something on, I think it was TikTok, that said to pop your blush up a little bit higher up there. Because normally we put it like here, I guess, on the balls of our cheeks. But they say if you pop it higher, it gives you a little bit more of a facelift. So if you want that like higher cheekbone look, to pop it up there. And I feel like it does, it does help. And next I'm going in with a little bit of highlighter. I just have this Morphe one that I'm trying to use up because it's nearly like done so we'll pop a little bit of that this is like really brightening so i try not to put too much and then i also like to put that up here as well it on my nose too i do find that these kind of highlighters um on a cooler tone i don't love like i much prefer golden i like that golden look but sometimes we don't mind a bit of shine lastly we're going to do our lips i'm going to use the nyx uh what is this this is the nude Yep, the nude lip liner, and I'm going to use my favorite Maybelline lip lacquer, I believe. If you see how, like, I kind of overline my lips, but just a touch, like, I don't want to have that, like, ridiculous look. But if you use, like, a nude color, it's the same sort of, like, a lip color. And then I always just, just slightly, like, overline them to give them a little bit more of a plumpier look. And then what I usually do with the lip liner, I kind of fill in a little bit as well so it doesn't look too like lip linery i like to kind of fill in a little bit further in with the lip liner and now i'm going to go in with the lip lacquer this is my favorite color it is dreamer i should know it off by heart by now lips are done as you can see they do look a little bit plumpier than they what they are i do like a pink lip with a brown eye look it's kind of my favorite uh neutral looking look because i feel like if you use too nude of a lipstick i feel like my face gets like lost and washed away like i don't know that's that's what i think but um you could always go in with the gloss and i probably will i'm just gonna wait for this to dry down and then make this look a little bit glossier gloss wise uh i'm gonna try this liquid high shine lipstick um just on top a little bit as a gloss 
and this is the wet and wild i don't have a clear gloss otherwise i would definitely recommend a clear gloss i only have my fenty one and i find fenty is high end so i'm not going to add it in today because we're trying to do an affordable look and now just to finish it all off we're going to spritz ourselves again with the setting spray and seeing as it's winter, I don't really need my fan because that should settle in quite well. I'm not like sweating away or anything. <laughs> I was going to wear my hair down, but I realized it just looks atrocious. <laughs> so that's not going to happen. I'm going to keep it up. But anyways, that's my look for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this little like chit chat, get ready with me. If you guys have any questions, then, you know, I can do a get ready with me q and I'm happy to do that. Sometimes I feel like I don't know what I'm talking about. But if you guys have questions, I'm happy to do a Q&A. Pop them down below or even DM them to me if you follow me on other platforms. Uh, don't forget to catch me on TikTok as well, guys. I'm semi-active on that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to do so. Bye.